Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. All right, let's get to it. Collective reading, any energy, any sign. Like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune in to you. So, flip the rolls as you see fit. Check your placements if you do not agree with this reading and past, present, or future energy can be at play. Lastly, thank you so much for those that like and subscribe. I so appreciate you. Let's get to it. Spirit, what is the overall message? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, God. Somebody's feeling hopeless. Mm hmm. All right. Hopeless. What's going on, Spirit? Thank you. One flew out of the cuckoo's nest. Obsession. Obsessed. Addicted almost. Oh my. Like, hopeless to change that, too, is what I'm hearing. Oh my goodness. Everything's flying out of time. It's like somebody feels like they're running out of that. They were resistant to this connection. It's left them sorrowed and sad, depressed. Because time is running out. Because you're releasing this person. Yeah. That's the one thing in life we always think we have. Time. <laughs> they made mistakes with you. Realize that. Maybe even feel like you misunderstood them. Yeah. Maybe you were chasing them at one time or now they're chasing you. They want a second chance. Yeah. My goodness. Can't even ask the questions. Yeah. Releasing came a second time. There's a lot of pain that this person feels. Maybe you felt that at one time. This is your divine masculine. They're spying on you. Yeah. Any other cards from this deck, Spirit? They feel like if only they would have told you their truth, maybe things could have been different. They second-guess themselves all the time when it comes to you. Yeah, they were running and you were chasing at one time. Now it feels like you're running away from them. Yeah, running is like twice. Let me double cards here. All you think about is you. Maybe you would be surprised about that. But maybe you've walked away from this person based on feeling neglected by this person. Feeling like you didn't matter to this person so maybe you would feel surprised that this person thinks about you as much as they do because they didn't really show you much when they were in front of you you know spirit tell me more about this maybe you were friends with this person at one time and you didn't know how they felt about you yeah, they just ghosted you. Ghosted your friendship. Ghosted your... Maybe text messages didn't respond to any of them. I wish I could take back my words. Maybe they said harsh words to you. Like, you know, they didn't care about you. It didn't matter to them. Move on with yourselves, your bad self. Bad boy or bad girl, they have an image. They made a wrong choice. Second confirmation of that. You were their secret love. You have taken time out to heal and now they're doing the same thing. You're very guarded against this person. Mm -hmm. You're guarded against them because of how they treated you. They were down for anything in life. Maybe uh, the class clown, maybe in their friend set, they're the one that's the risk taker. Maybe they have addictions. Now, yeah, addictions is twice here because it's like written down twice. They're obsessed with you as one of their addictions. You're their obsession. You're their addiction now. But it's like at one time they let other things 
whether chemical or it was like drinking too so whether it was a chemical addiction an alcoholic addiction the this person has an addictive personality and that addictive personality is spilled out into their love connections as well is what i'm hearing from spirit yeah everything's in reverse based on that they didn't see a long-term connection with you and now they're limited in their contact with you. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah. They just couldn't see. A future with you at one time. Mary, give me some more confirmation of this. What is these addictions that this person has? What's the addiction spirit? Thank you. The Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a practical, reliable person determined to get to you. But they were dishonest. And maybe that's one of their not addictions, but Seven of Swords is here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That might be one of their detractors. A flaw, if you will, in their chemical makeup is that they lie a lot. They can't tell the truth. It's like the truth would set them free, but they can't do it. They're trapped lying and they lied on you saying that they didn't care about you yeah page of wands in reverse maybe they impulsively did did that lied to you pretended they didn't care about you they weren't reliable yeah the behavior was all over the place because you scared them you were an honest person and they just couldn't face that in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't face the truth because they didn't know what the truth was. They don't tell truths. That's what I'm hearing. They tell lies. Six of Wands. They didn't recognize you. They didn't see your worth. Sad as that sounds. And it created a tower. Where you walked away from this person. Based on their dishonesty. You're the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Confident, attractive, independent. And there, in their anxiety and despair. Double confirmation of that. Nine of swords. Because of it. It caused the tower of you leaving this person. Blinded by... I don't know, like a victim mentality, like blinded by the truth of their lies, their addictions, their toxicities. They moved in a different direction from you. Yeah. You were very innocent and playful and carefree, and that's how they felt around you. Six of cups, but in the end, they marched on without you. And Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. They were misguided. They don't have direction in their life. You were their true north. And now they've given in to whatever addictive behaviors that they have. They've accentuated those things. King of Cups. They want your forgiveness, though. 
They want you to trust them again. They feel burdened by this. They feel like they lost something really, truly important. Ten of Wands. Something they can't gain back in another person. Oh, God. They lack the strength to come towards you, though. Eight of... Number eight, but this is the strength card in reverse, sorry. Death has happened here. A change. A transformation. They want a new opportunity with you. Maybe new opportunities are opening up for you. And you're moving on to a different cycle than this person. And it's left them lonely and isolated. They're hermit in reverse. They're depressed. They feel like this is a missed opportunity. Four of Cups. The world is here. A change. A transformation. A completion of a cycle with this person. You're the high priestess. Intuitive. Yeah, you looked at 11.11 11 on the clock. Your inner voice, your intuition told you to move on. The moon is here and they just kept their secrets, their deceptions, their, their illusions. False mask, they didn't care about you. And the whole time, that's all they did was care about you. Now they're watching you from afar. They needed to control the narrative and in that they lost you. Juggling too many things, their time, their energy, maybe in other in all directions, and pretending that you were just a friend to them when you meant so much more. That's all I have for you today on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy my travel. I'd love to have you. Till the next time, be safe. Be blessed.